As it inches closer and closer on satellite images, the local volunteers are already preparing for the worst. Don Granice has been following this story and he has more from the emergency response. Anywhere from southern Florida to the northern point of North Carolina. We at this time still don't know. But as soon as any possible damage is done, Gary Ford will be driving their emergency response vehicle into the worst of it all. My wife and I both committed to the Red Cross uh, just to give back. He's retired, but now his volunteer work keeps him busy. They've all been bad. Um, the first one I went to was Hurricane Sandy. This will be his fifth deployment since 2012. He and other volunteers are equipped with what many people may need after the storm passes through. General assistance, uh, comfort kits, uh, blankets if needed. Any food or water that people may need. There are about 100 shelters just in Florida alone where the Red Cross will be able to help where they can. It's a national response and uh, the Nebraska Red Cross is proud to be part of that national response. Great thing to do. It's a lot of work, a lot of stress. There's no two ways about it uh, when you deploy. And this volunteer knows from experience that any amount of devastation from these storms is reason enough to do something. That big of a cat catastrophic event, uh, people are confused. You know, they don't know what to do. And we can help steer them the right directions. And that's, that's what it's all about, just helping, being able to help people. And that was Don Gurney's reporting. If you would like to be able to help down there, you can just go to our website, wowt.com. We have the information.